everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Wednesday. The Department of Tourism has partnered with Aquila, a well-known international learning facility that offers a variety of certified courses to those working in the tourism industry. With plans to reopen the borders to visitors, the DOT wants to ensure the visitor experience to the Cayman Islands is the best it can be. With that, we've now launched our tour guide training program, which we currently have a cohort of 26 individuals. And with that, they're currently undergoing several lessons and they actually have an assessment at the end, which will then earn their certi certificate. Along with that, we now have the Driver Excellence, which is upcoming for the month of August. There are actually four sessions. They'll all be virtual. I must note that they are free as well. And each course will be held um, either in the morning or in the afternoon to accommodate flexibility with those who want to participate. It is intended for all individuals, and this one is specifically for the driver excellence. Um, it's specifically for anyone who operates guest transportation. That is taxi drivers, public transport drivers, um, limousine companies, charter um, boat companies, anyone of that sort that might be interacting with our guests upon arrival or just in general during their stay here. Come August, four free classes in driver excellence are being offered to those in tourism's uh, transport, transportation sector, including those in water sports. Individuals only need to participate in one of the virtual classes, where the goal is to ensure those who work in the sector are well-equipped, confident, and can benefit from what they learn. The benefits of the Aquila training programs are simply to provide the individuals in our industry with the tools in order to feel confident in conducting their duties um, daily once our borders have reopened and to provide top-notch service, um, customer service that is to our visitors. If you work in the tourism industry in the transportation uh, sector, you're encouraged to get registered for one of the classes. Before the Ju July 28th deadline, you can get registered for the August classes at aquila.rkman.ky. Now, we invite you to join us here on Thursday to hear more about other training opportunities offered by the Department of Tourism to ensure the sector is upskilled and prepared for border reopening. You can also learn more about these training opportunities by going online to rkman.ky and click on the Education and Training tab. The Summer Olympics being held in Tokyo will kick off with the opening ceremonies this Friday and a group of Cayman athletes are competing. Minister for Sports, the Honorable Bernie Bush, is sending them his well wishes. I'm very happy to join the people of the Cayman Islands in wishing every success to our talented and dedicated sportswomen and men in what will probably be one of the greatest sporting events of their careers. Our athletes, who are Jillian Crooks, Brett Fraser, Kimara Hyman, Ray Gunruddy, and Shalisa Ray. Godspeed and good luck. Make sure you enjoy this to the fullest. It's a once in a lifetime thing for many, but I'm hoping it'll be the first of many for you. If you would like to watch the minister's entire message, you can watch it on demand on the CIG television YouTube channel. And those in the Cayman Islands wanting to watch the Summer Olympics opening ceremony, there is a watch event scheduled for this Friday at the Western Resort starting at 6 p.m. Recently, the Lighthouse School Hall was filled with parents, teachers, and well-wishers as the graduation for eight students under the theme, The Tassels Are Worth the Hassle, was held. Graduation certific certificates were handed out and special awards, uh, including those for community and Special Olympics, were handed out as well. Recently, uh, 13 top achievers from public pri primary schools were awarded, and at the secondary level, the Lighthouse School's Calum uh, Walsh O'Brien was recognized for attaining a distinction in math and merit in English in the 2019 City and Guilds examinations. We say congratulations to Calum and his other classmates. Today's high temperature was 89 degrees, the low 77. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. Winds are from our easterly rather 10 to 15 knots. Sea conditions are slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. Now the synopsis calls for light to moderate winds and seas which are expected over the Cayman area as a ridge of high pressure dominates the flow over the Northwest Caribbean. Radar images show isolated showers in and around the Cayman area are also moving towards the west. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, have a safe and of course a wonderful night.